And next we, we have, have Pankaj, Pankaj from Ajna Lelis. Again, hello everyone, I'm Pankaj Raut. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Asna Lens. So Asna Lens is a company which was started with a vision that we wanted to have grassroots level impact using technology as a tool. We felt that virtual reality and augmented reality is one of those technologies that can be leveraged so that we can have grassroots level impact. So a short about the company, we make our own augmented and virtual reality hardware. So may, what we do is we partner up with content developers and deploy end-to-end -end solution. Today, throughout the day, you guys must have heard that what metaverse is, what the end applications are. We have deployed one of the world's largest metaverse for skilling. So in this metaverse, people wear the headset. Around 18,000 individuals are trained every year for virtual spray painting, welding, all the vocational skills. So we provide end-to-end -end solutions on those aspects. We have about 20 plus patents and we've been able to do innovation on the hardware and then the software layer of it for which we have been recognized globally. These are some of our hardware right from your augmented reality devices, virtual reality devices to complete end-to-end -end solutions is what we deploy with. Beyond this, we work with defense. As a company, we started this about seven, eight years back. Devices back then were this bulky, 10 kgs weight, multiple wires coming out of it. And defense was the first implementer or user for them because the ROI was very clear for them. So we worked with multiple defense forces where we have deployed our solution. And these are some of the customers where we have deployed metaverses or AR, VR applications, if you may, for multiple use cases. Our key focus right now is in skilling both hard, uh, hard skills and soft skills. The key difference whenever the purchasing goes to the procurement cycle, they want the ROI. This is where this thing comes in. The biggest ROI with using AR and VR for various use cases is the cost saving. It is the time saving. What happens is you're going from a non-engaging kind of a learning and development to an engaging environment, wherein your retention becomes better and it also increases your productivity as you go through. There's one basic simple reason for it. It is the Dale's Learn of Learning. We just remember 10% of what we read, about 20% of what we hear, 30% of what we see, 50% of what we hear and see, and 70% of what we say, but we remember more than 90% of the things that we do. That is where virtual reality and augmented reality plays a big, big, big role. So whenever you go outside this conference and you say that you want to implement AR, VR, Metaverse, the first question from the purchasing doctor team part will come is, what is the ROI for it? And that is wherein we work. We help using LND and using AR and VR help you understand the impact of it. The implementation so far, we've been able to reduce the training cost from 50% to 75%. A current trial, which we are doing a white paper for, we've been able to reduce the cost by about 90% as well. Besides this, it is increases your, decreases your training time, it increases orange retention, and it has also an impact of reducing the carbon footprint as well. We just don't make the hardware, we create the application, the LMS layer of it as well, which goes and sits and talks to your LMS. So it gives him basic data in terms of minute movements, such as his hand movements, his voice tones, all the data which is required for that specific training. We map that data and is provided to the end user through various analytics. We have a demonstration here on the first booth here. So anyone wants to experience how good their spray painting skills are, very happy to showcase the demos to you guys as well. Currently, what we are moving towards is a both AR plus VR device in one. Usually, you go into the market, you either buy an augmented or a virtual reality device. The device that we are launching in January, CES, which is the first Indian company who will be launching an XR device on a global platform, is Asana Lens. This device will have both AR and VR in the same device. It is own battery and it is own computing pack, so you don't need to tether it to something else as well. That's all from my side. Thank you so much and Namaskaram. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much uh, for that, Pankaj.